It says we are alive, Mr. Fluffy Poodle. All right, buddy. I got my chair. I got my wonderful chair. We'll put that right. Should have just kept it right there, right? I think that's good. We'll put these glasses on. Got to clean them off. You ready? We got to introduce ourselves. Yes, we do. You ready? I'm ready. I think everybody's ready. Fluffy, pick up. Out. Good. Heel. Sit. Sunglasses are nice and clean. And ladies and gentlemen, if you'll know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right. Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. Hey, I'm going to be honest. I'm thinking about dyeing it another color for this season coming up. That's right, the fall and winter time is our one of our favorite seasons. And I think maybe green this year or maybe a brown might look good. Um, or we just keep it blue because he's looking outstanding. With that being said, hey, we're gonna do some standard poodle service dog training today. That's right, some standard poodle service dog training with the fluffy poodle and I. Stay. So all of this that we're doing right here, why I'm talking is actually training as we speak, okay? I'm having him sit and not move until I give him a release word, and then I'm gonna give him a reward, all right? That release word is gonna be Y-E-S. It's gonna be yes, but because he knows I'm talking to you and not him right now, he's not released, and then I'll give him a reward. Fluffy, yes! You see the difference there is he got up, ran, uh, he got up right away because he knew I was talking to him. He went and he got his toy and he's gonna bring it right back. Sit, out. All of this in a controlled manner. Now, a lot of you are saying, how is this service dog training? Well, this is basic obedience, ladies and gentlemen. Basic obedience at first, and then we're gonna get to there. We're gonna get there, that's right. So, that's how we do the sit for duration. Hey, we reward right here, step back, go forward, reward, get that duration, consistency, do that longer and longer. Eventually, you'll get the basic training down just like this. You ready? Fluffy, heel. Uh -uh. Heel. Good. Down. Good. Middle. Good. Six. Good. Heel. Good. Hug. Good. Off. Off, down, stand, Good. Up. there, stand, sit. All right, now there's basic obedience in five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna give him a reward. Five, four, three, two, one, yes! And he got his reward. Um, basically, hey, do what I say and I'm gonna give you the world. Well, come on. All right, now you see I do have a chair here. Come here, out. I do have a chair here because, you know, you're a service dog or a dog for basic obedience. should learn the word touch. Touch means front two paws up on the object I tell him to. Here's a chair, so I'm going to tell him touch, which is front two paws. Fluffy, touch. Up. Here, let me turn it a little bit. Touch. Make it happen. There you go. You see the... Hey, he needs to learn sometimes. It's not going to be the most, um, the most, uh, I can't think of the word, the most stable platform. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. It's, it's not going to be the most stable platform sometimes. But hey, build that trust and build that confident and not, confidence and not just in your dog, but also yourself in that bond. Break. Yes. I'll fix the chair. Actually, I just had an idea. So all of that was basic obedience. Now I'm gonna go into some service dog training, okay? Um, service dog training as in pick up. Fluffy, come. Out. Um, and heel, heel right. Heel right. Sit. All right. Um, I'm gonna tip this over and I want him to pick this up. He can use the strap, he can use this. I just want him to try to pick this up for me. I've honestly never had him pick up this chair. 
I can t put this down and tell them to pick up. I can drop my wallet. Actually, I'm gonna show you. All right, I'm gonna show you this process so you guys see I'm not messing around or, you know, it's all live, okay? He knows how to pick up a toy. This is where we started first. Sit, set down the toy, and I tell him the word pick up, and he's gonna pick it up and give it to me in a controlled manner. Fluffy, pick up, out, good, sit. You started with a toy, that was step number one. Step number two is a wallet, or whatever you wanna do next. Fluffy, pick up, good. Now I got my wallet. Step three, or more advanced, once you get so many things down pat, is we're gonna try this. I have no clue if this is gonna work, ladies and gentlemen, but I want you guys to see our process of how we do things. Fluffy, pick up. Come on, boy. Fluffy, pick up. Pick up. Come on, pick up. Good, pick up. Good, good. Come on, boy, good. Pick up. Come on, good, 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 good. Pick up, good, come on, come on, come on. Good boy, good boy, good boy, come on. There's a good boy, good boy, good boy. Fluffy, out. Has a good boy, out. Good, good, good. Ladies and gentlemen, did you guys just see that right there? That is real, unedited, that is perfect, that is to the point. Oh, that was awesome, literally. That's how we do everything. That's how we build that bond is we say, hey, do this for me and it may be uncomfortable at first. It may be something that, you know, we may not be able to know what to do right away, but we're gonna work through it and it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be spectacular. And you guys seen the end result. It was step one, two, and three on just how we picked up things. That was seriously awesome. That made me really smile today because I needed that. Man, did I need that. Yes! Come on, come on. Good, out, sit, yes. Good boy, good boy, come on. You hear the thunder over there, buddy? Look at them dark clouds up there, which you guys can't see, out. Good, sit down, sit down, heel, middle. How's a good boy, how's a good boy? Here's a good boy. Here's a good boy. Here's a yes. Come here. Out. Hey, I seen somebody else do this the other day. They were like, hey, I can teach my dog how to like, um, they called it touch. Um, well, touch for me is two front paws, but you know, when I tell him to come, that means come to me and no matter what, either heal or put his nose on it, just like a seal or whatever. Heel, good, heel, good, heel. Good, good. Come on, come, good, 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 yes. So basically it touches his nose like a dolphin or an animal, uses a, uh, touches his nose on my hand. Uh, I'll pull it, you wanna pull it, you wanna pull it? There we go, out. Good. All right, so uh, basically, um, yeah, it's like marker training, you know? Um, once he gets it, he gets reward. But that's like with any task. Now, like I told you and what all this is about, right, this video is you guys seen basic obedience at first, you guys seen some real task as in picking up, but that's the process of how we got there. We taught him how to pick up step one, step two is a wallet or whatever, step three is a chair, okay, or something big, something crazy, something new, and we work through that together. Step, the last step is really working on the fundamentals and mastering everything and whatever the task that you have with your service dog. For example, as if yours is scratching like this, you see how fast that is? That is live right there, uninterrupted, and he's still not gonna get a reward. Why? Because sometimes he may not get a reward every single time, okay? Sometimes it doesn't happen. That's real talk, ladies and gentlemen. 
but when they do get the reward, it's gonna be the best thing imaginable, all right? Now, I'm gonna give them a reward after the next time I start scratching, because um, a lot of you, that is your service dog task, okay, is interruption, and one of those scratching arms, stuff like that, let's see how fast he can do it again, okay? Without calling names, without anything, blah, 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 all right? Yes! Yeah! He's a good boy! He's a good boy! Come on, Flippy! Ha ha ha! Good boy! I let him win with it, alright? Let him win. Let him keep it for a little bit. But you see, he wants more. He wants more, don't you, boy? Yeah, he brought it back to me and he said, oh, let's play. Fluffy, out! Out! Good, sit! And then you make them want more, okay, ladies and gentlemen? This is how you get those tasks, okay? For example, if I fell down and passed out, he's gonna make sure I'm okay, and then he's gonna start searching for help with his eyes, all right? It's making sure I'm, I'm all right, and then scan. If he sees help, then he's gonna go. If he doesn't, look, for the location where we're at now, He's, he can't run for miles, all right? There's not, a, there's not neighbors for a while, all right? So normally I'm in a public area. I'm never by myself. That's why we do lives, because you guys can see it as well. I see a comment. With that being said, let's check it out, Fluffy. Stay. Let's see them comments. Let's go, Fluffy. You hear that? I got great news, ladies and gentlemen. I got great news. If you made it this far in the video, that's right, if you made it this far in the video, the Fluffy Poodle actually got sponsored by a um, dog vest company. Um, it's a it's a literally a multi, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna go there. I'm not gonna spill all the beans yet because we're gonna do a product review. We're gonna have a series going down on what this vest is about, how we're gonna train Mr. Fluffy with this vest. And, you know, we're gonna be using it in the field, out there in the water, and so much more. Because poodles gotta have fun, service dogs gotta have fun on the side as well. Got another comment, let's drop it down. That's amazing, that's amazing. That's right, that is amazing. Um, a little hint for everybody. It is not a service dog vest. It is not a service dog vest. It is actually a certain type of vest that's gonna help um, keep him warm, keep him dry. Well, somewhat dry, but keep him warm, keep him drier and warmer than normal, along with uh, uh, protecting his body and so much more. With that being said, let's go back into what this video was actually about real quick. We were talking about um, the last thing is task training. That's right. Service dog task training is extremely important. Like I was telling you, that interruption. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually fake an episode. And when I say fake an episode, I am gonna fall down to the ground here and I'm gonna shake a little bit, okay? He's gonna, he should come over to me and lay down and scan around like I just told you. If that happens, great. If it doesn't, well, we're gonna work on it together and I'm gonna show you guys that process. And if it does happen perfectly, I'm gonna explain that process to you guys. You guys ready? Make sure you have your treat or toy whatever in hand when you are starting out, okay? When you're starting out, because just like we started the interruption, it's they don't know when they're gonna get the reward. That's why they're always begging for that reward. They're always trying to work for that reward, okay? Let's go. Hey, I'm just start dancing. I'm gonna just play around, you know, act like, you know, we're just having fun out here. You see, he's always watching me. He's just doing what it needs to be doing. And then when I say five, four, three, two, one, again, that's when I'm gonna fall to the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be okay. This is faking an episode training, all right? Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Good boy! Good boy! Yes! He's a good boy! Good! Uh, go get it! I put, oh, good boy! Oh, yes, a good boy! That's a good boy! That's a good boy! 
Ah, he's a good boy. Ah, come here, boy. Good boy. Here's a good boy, huh? Here's a good boy. Here's a good boy. And then we turn them off. And then we sit down. And we talk about what just happened. That's right. We talk about what just happened just like that. Fluffy, pick up. Pick up. Come. Good. Out. Heel. Sit. All right. Now we talk about what just happened, okay? Um, to me, he kind of did it perfect, but he wasn't wasn't hundred percent exactly how I like it because I'm a perfectionist. What just happened and what you guys just saw is Fluffy Poodle, um, he kind of did a task where I passed out and started shaking and I'm not gonna tell you my medical condition, anything like that. It's just, if I fell down and started shaking and was unconscious for a little bit, he needs to nudge me, make sure I'm okay, which he did and then stay, stay there look around, scan for anybody, and if nothing, you know, keep staying next to me, okay? I rolled over to see if he would get up and switch to the other side, which he did, but it wasn't perfectly like I wanted. That's one of the things that I'm gonna talk about how we can make that a little bit better and closer. The other thing was, I wish, he was in the position that I wanted and I wanted him closer. Those were the two things. Along with I wanted him to scan a little bit more, but I understand where we are at the location because obviously there's nobody outside where we're at and this is a, a place that he knows of. If we were out in public, that's when the next thing would be is we need somebody to call him over at the beginning to let him know like, hey, after that he needs to go run and get help but then the calling is going to stop. Okay. So that's, that's further and further. Anyways, um, with that being said, that's how you get it all done. And that's the, that's the process. Um, you did good fluffy. You really did good. We got to work on a couple things. Like I said, we got to work on the fact of he needed to be a little bit closer and he wasn't in the position I wanted him to. How do we do that is we'll have to keep redoing that over and over what I just did and entice him a little bit closer and bring him in a little bit closer. That's how we get that done. Do that with repetition a couple times and he'll, he'll get right back to normal. Excuse me. He'll get right back to normal and say, hey, this is what I need to do. This is where I need to be. It's normal. Uh, when I say it's normal, it's like it's you're just refreshing his memory. That's what you really are doing. I'm going to be honest. I haven't really told him to do that in a couple days. So you got to refresh your service dog's memory. You got to refresh your regular dog's memory. Whatever you do, you got to be consistent. And that's how you can have this amazing dog sitting just like this, nice and content, ready to go on an instant. Turn them on and off just like this. You guys ready? Come on, boy. <laughs> Go get it, boy. Oh, you took up my hand. Come on. Come on. Out. Out. Yes. I'm going to turn them on and off, guys. Watch this. Watch this. Come on, boy. Good. Out. Sit. Out. Sit. Bite. Out. Hamburger. Hot dog. Banana. Bicycle. Bite. Good. Out. And then turn them on. I'll watch them run. Leave it. Fetch. Good. Come. Out. Sit. And then we can just go right back to this all day long, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little live episode. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a lot, a lot of hot, hot videos coming down. I'm talking about him getting sponsored by this duck vest company. We're going to do product reviews. Oh, I just said it live. Anyways, we're going to cut it right there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to cut it right there. Rig them right. Rig them right. You ready? to rig them right, because that's what we're going to do to Mr. Fluffy Poodle. I gave you guys enough hints. Fluffy heel. Ah, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit, heel, heel, down.
down, down, six. I hope I gave you guys enough hints. Rig him right. That's right. We're going to rig him right with an awesome, awesome vest. Until next time, you guys know who this is. This is Daniel the Big O with the fluffy poodle. That's right. Heel. Eh, eh. Sit. That's right. Mr. Fluffy Poodle. That's, uh, blah, blah, blah. I messed that one up. This is Daniel the Big O with the fluffy poodle. That's right. Mr. Fluffy Bear and his blue hair. We'll see you guys on the next video. A lot of series coming, guys. Get excited. Let's do this. We're all family. Comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button. We'll see you guys. Give me a high five. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. Whoop, whoop. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. You're just the most beautiful dog in the world, Fluffy. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. Comment down. You know he's all beautiful. He's a handsome boy.